to Clevenant TV, your favorite online TV station. My name is Franklin, and I'm having you with me. Benjamin. Yeah, we're having a brand new program called Business Half Hour, and we're having a trending topic called e-commerce, yeah. the benefits of online shopping. So, Mr. Ben, what do you think about online shopping? Well, I think online shopping is a is, is a very good development. Thank God came to Nigeria at the time it came because a lot of people have been having problems shopping, going up, going to offline shops to get stores at cheap prices and all that. But offline shopping, or we all know what e-commerce is, is basically the buying and selling of products and services online. Okay. Well, I feel like it's it's a very good development. Thank God it's here. Okay. Yeah. yeah and still on that online shopping, we've discovered that lately people have been having issues with this online shopping. Yes, just as you said, you've been advantage the advantage of it. We've also been having this advantage of it. But still and still, we've been having five benefits to look into to know the right and genuine online shopping market you should go to. Yeah. Back to you, Mr. Ben. Yeah. I don't know, have you ever experienced any challenge of this online shopping? Yeah, yes, I have. Thank you for that question. Because a lot of people mostly must have had challenges one way or the other while buying or buying stuff online. Yes. Uh, I would say my first experience was really pleasant, it was okay. But the second experience that I had was the problem of when you look at something, you know, when you go online, you see something online, it's so beautiful, but when you now order for it, it's not exactly what it's saying. And maybe when you now say you want a refund or you want to refund or resend it back to the, to the people who you bought it from, they will say no. So that, that's one of the major problems or one of the major issues. I've had over time. So it has kind of made me want to do offline stores. At least I know that I can verify yeah, what correct. I'm getting exactly. I'm ensuring that with my warranty, everything is there intact. But I feel like, well, there are, there are also good online stores. I'm not saying it is a bad experience, totally bad spend on I mean, others not to shop online. There are credible online stores. That's but right here, right here to tell you the benefits or how or how to know credible yeah. online stores. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, I recall an experience I had uh, with my mom, like I wanted to get something for her and I actually placed the order for it and when they did um, the, 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 the delivery yeah. for me, I discovered it was something else they got oh, that for that me. Order. Yeah, yeah, it was quite different from what I actually ordered and just like you said, there was no refund. Now, how does that apply to offline shopping market? When you get to return stuff such as that, doesn't that tell you that online shopping market is obviously bad for business? Well, I, I wouldn't say it's... Well, it depends on the online store, basically, because every online store has policies. Policies that help their consumers, help them shop better, policies that make them keep their consumers. So, if an online store don't have a policy that uh, it contains um, refunds, it's, it's going to be bad for business or bad for them because online, the thing is offline stores have their own advantages and they have, all online stores have their own advantages. So, okay. you have to weigh which one is good for you because I know if I want to buy stuff online, I want to buy something like a fridge or something huge, something heavy, yeah. and I know I can't carry and okay. I just want them to deliver it in my doorstep, of course. but. An offline store, you have to go there, you have to buy, you have to carry, all that yeah, stuff, all these things stress. involved, yeah. exactly. So, well, to me, I would I would say, bad for business, I, I don't think so. I think both of them complement each other. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think both of them or anyone is say okay, this one is bad for business or anything, yeah. Okay. Um, just like you said, one of the benefits um, of online um, shopping, shopping market, yeah. there's this thing called privacy. Uh, it helps. I discovered that when you go to an offline shopping market and you want to get something, obviously everybody sees what you're actually going for. Yeah. But an online, no one gets to know what you're actually buying and all of that. But there's still this disadvantage ab about this privacy thing. Yeah. We discovered that these days we'll be having um, fraudsters, online fraudsters, hackers, people being able to go through becoming a third party into. Um, and all, yeah, your transaction and all, all of that. Now, putting out, knowing that um, you get to use your ATM cards to buy stuff online, don't you think it's more harmful doing dealings online than offline? Well, I, I wouldn't say. The thing is, that, that still boils down on the online store because 
yes, all these data, because once you shop online, you your data are your they are released. All right, they are released to some data somewhere, some server. But now it depends on how credible your online store is, where you are buying from. If they have the equipment or they have the expertise to be able to protect that data, because data is released. All right, and archives can actually get there retrieve those data and use them. So those are that's one of the disadvantages of uh, of actually buying stuff online or doing online online shopping. Well I, I would also say that at the same time the privacy or the, the advantage of the privacy of doing offline stuff is that look at least you know okay nobody sees exactly nobody is seeing yeah. yeah exactly what you're buying. But I feel at the same time both of them have both of their advantages and disadvantages. Well. Okay, but do you think um, on that issue of um, browsing through one's privacy and yeah. using that to your own selfish advantage yeah. and it affecting the, the client or the customer or so to say consumer buying stuff online, don't, don't you think such a thing needs to be resolved as soon as possible? Because I recall someone was saying because of his um, information has been made known online and all of that. He just wants to totally stop online shopping and go for offline shopping. So I don't know, can such an issue be resolved in regarding that privacy, security? Yeah, it, it yes, it can be stopped with the right personnel, with the right expertise. With the, the online stores need to, they need to, um, what's the word, they need to actually uh, invest in people, yes, in people, IT people. Okay. That can actually store and protect the consumer's data. That is very important because your consumers are the, your lifeline. Because without them, you will, you will you will be out of business. So definitely, they need to look for a way to resolve it. It's resolvable because there are a lot of online stores, international online stores that have been working over the years. But at the same time, they've been able to look for a way to curb this um, this problem yeah. of hacking their consumers, uh, credit cards and all that. I think it can be resolved, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's another thing, um, price wars. Yeah. We've, been, we've discovered that um, offline and online are actually having this issue of price wars going on. Yeah. Um, you discover that issues like Black Fridays come up, where by the um, prices of a big, uh, totally being slashed, being slashed yeah. down and everybody just switched their mind off the yeah. offline market and yeah. look into the online market and they be like, ah, nobody is actually um, attending to my business any longer. Yeah. So what do you have to say to that? Do you think there should be a balance in between um, both of them? Yes, I, I believe that there should be a balance because both of them need each other. Okay. Right? The offline store need the online store. Sometimes they even tend to do businesses together. Okay. But the price war is something that should be resolved soon. Most times, most of the reason why it is contradictory is because of the whole, most times the, the anniversary, okay. when the online store have an anniversary or the popular Black Friday. Yes, and that kind of make shift the attention from the offline store to the online store. Okay. And at the same time, but look at it, if you want to look at it really, really well, you, you know that how much, how much profit are the online stores making? Despite the fact that they are putting up uh, cheap stuff or they are ensuring that their products are cheap and affordable at the same time comes with that they have quality. But if you look at it very well, how, how, um, how much profit do you think they are making you know, from the offline store? I don't think the margin is, is high, it's, it's actually slim. So uh, it can be resolved. It's just for them to have an understanding and that moving forward they can actually do something about it. Okay. Now, um, someone said, someone told me that um, he has been um, having these issues of fake prices on the online market. Hmm. You're, by, you, you, you're being told, okay, this is a particular price, maybe uh, an iPhone, yeah. and just say it goes for around 270000 and he gets to um, make the inquiry for it or wants to make the um, buy it and all of that. He discovers it's way more than that. Yeah. So how does that affect, don't you think that actually affects the online, them making fake, putting fake prices on? Well, I don't, I think the, the, the prices changes because of the delivery. Okay. Well, so online stores actually charge you with delivery. Okay. Some will just charge you without delivery. So 
maybe the reason why there's a change in price is because of the delivery packages that comes with them delivering your products to you. Yeah, so maybe that's just the glitch because I don't think it's much of a problem. Some some online stores do free delivery. Some just charge some certain percentage. So it's normal for the price to change at that point of when you want to buy buy out. Yeah. So I, it's just delivery fee. I don't think it's something really serious. Okay. Um. We'll be coming down to um one getting to know genuine um online shopping market. Yeah. So. What do you think are the tips that one needs to have to know a particular genuine um, online shopping market? Well, to know a genuine online shopping market is actually easy. You need to, it's, there are just basic things you need to look out for. You need to look out for a contact, that's a phone contact. Okay. They have to be a contact where you can call, okay. where you can call, who you can verify, you can inquire from. Okay. They need to be an address. A company needs to have an address where you can locate like an office. Okay. In case you have complaints, okay. and also they need to have, they need to be registered with the regulatory sure. body covering the business. Okay. And that one is really important. And also, you need to actually check out reviews of that online store. Okay. Because a lot of people actually ignore that, but it's very very important. Once you want to shop on or shop from an online store, you need to check the reviews on that online store. That gives you some certain closure that you know a bit of how they do business. So if it's not credible, you will see. If it's credible, you will also see. And also, the um, for you to also know uh, a credible online store, you need to ask. Ask your family and friends. Okay. You, you need to ask them, how is this place? How is this business? At least, they one person must have heard about it, sure. obviously. Sure. So those are the few tips you need to put in mind or have in put in consideration before you now say okay this is a credible online store but basically i feel like we clever now look clever now look has created this has made it easy okay it, it has uh, that's an online store that should be really looked into okay. because they they bridge the relationship between the offline store okay and the consumers okay so the, the clever now notebook that's in the classified uh, page. page of the website the Clevenard actually stands as a third party. Okay. It stands as an intermediary between both parties, the offline, the offline store and the consumers. So you contact Clevenard Notebook, they verify what you've seen. So it makes it not like, oh, you see something online and it's very sensational, it's beautiful, yeah. at the end of the day, it's yeah. not exactly what you want, exactly not what you ordered yeah. for. Yeah. But us standing in the middle, will verify, will ensure that what whatever you're ordering is is actually quality, it has the quality, is is cheap and is affordable and based on all that delivery and all that stuff will verify for you okay. and ensure that you get it. And that that's one thing that that's that's one of the advantages we have yeah. in Clever Notebook. So I feel like a lot of people need to really look into that. It's really really important because you need to look into it. It's something that at least we've able to solve the problem between okay, how will I do this? How, how will I um, am, am, am I sure this stuff is yeah, credible? Yeah, okay, right. All of that questions will be able to answer it. Okay, yeah. so um, for the viewers out there, yeah, for them um, getting to have this Clevenant notebook or reaching out to this Clevenant, how do you think they think to go about it? Well, it's very, very easy. You just go to the Google App Store, you just search Clevenant notebook, it's there, okay, and you just you check, you go to the classified page. Okay. You actually have to register first. Okay. It's, and you can register on the website www.clevenant.com. Okay. You register there, you, then after you registering, then when you download the app, then you cannot explore. Oh, wow, wow, yeah. wow. There you have it, viewers. We've given you benefits and tips of knowing genuine online shopping market. Yeah. And Cleveland Notebook is also there for you. Just as my um, fellow respondents have just said, just log on to www.clevenant.com and you can explore. Go to the classified page. You want to buy, you want to sell, you want to do business online. Cleveland Notebook is there for you. I'm your host, Franklin and Benjamin also. We just want to thank you and all the viewers and all of you guys. Till we meet next time, have a wonderful day.